and hello YouTube, this is GS Man Smart, and today we're gonna have another game tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be teaching you how to make this Aurora background here, which is um basically the background you see here is image, not not the um not the beam effect here. If you wanna know how to make this beam effect, which is the neon lights here going in front of and behind the two characters here, if you wanna know how to do that, then I have a video on my channel on how to do that. Um Basically, this tutorial is just going to be teaching you how to make the background here, this Aurora type of background. But if you want to know how to make the beam effect here, like I said, there's a tutorial on my channel about it. And you can basically um, learn how to do that there. But today, we're just going to focus on the background here. So basically, um, open up your GIMP, obviously. Uh, make a new image, whatever size you want. This is my wallpaper size. I'm going to keep it like that. Um, I'm going to use a black background. You can, you can use whatever background you want, but I think it looks best in black. Next, we're going to make a new layer. Make sure it's transparent. Layer on top. And use your sphere. You can use your rectangle if you want, but I think sphere looks a lot nicer. Now, um, make it in the middle here. The pan how, how, does, I don't know how big you want it, but I'm going to make mine fairly big. So about like that. I'm gonna have one color here, one color here. Now that you can you can have however many colors you want, but just be aware if you want to have like five colors, you need to have five different layers here. So each color is gonna be a different layer. So now I'm gonna use our uh, paint bucket tool, and I'm gonna make it uh, this blue color here. And there we go. Go up to select, click none, and make sure you work in your first layer still, and. It's center this a little bit to avoid any cutoffs. Um, next, we have the filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and if you have a small image, it's not going to be 350. Um, if you have a big image, I'd go 300, 350. Depending on how big your image is, I'm going to use 300. Which looks good. Now, the reason why we moved it is because if you had it up here, um, your blur will be cut off. So whenever you do this, you want to have you want to make sure you have it centered so that your blur doesn't get cut off. Now for your second image, all you gotta do is basically hide this layer so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, make a new layer. Make sure it's transparent, and we're gonna make another color now. Now what you can do is you can you can um, move your layer over here and see how it looks. You can basically make another one. So I'm gonna make it like that. So that's how I want it placed. Now you don't. Now you hide this so that you can move your thing to the center. Why well, screwed that up? The point is that you want to have it in the center so that your blurs don't get cut off. So next, we're gonna use a different color. I'm gonna use this green here, like that, and go up to select none filters blur Gaussian blur and uh, 300 again. Now, if you have a lot of colors, you don't want to keep on going back to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. If you have like seven different colors, you don't want to keep on doing that. So, uh, a, a trick is, a shortcut, just press Control F or Command F, and it'll use the last uh, settings used for blurring. It'll use the same settings you used. So, now that we have both of our layers here, now you can um, just move them around, place them the way you want them. So, I'm going to have mine right here just like that's good so now what you do is you're gonna um, merge them down like this merge down so that they're one layer next we're gonna have a new layer make it transparent now for some reason when I do this you go to render we go to clouds difference clouds and you want to have this all the way up to 100 and this all the way down to 0. Now, apparently when I do this, this happens. It basically doesn't want to work. So what I basically do is I just make a new image and then do it on here. If it doesn't work for you, then obviously do this too. If it works for you, then great. You're lucky. So I just do it here and then all I basically do is go to edit, cut, and I cut it out of this image, close it, and I go over here to edit, paste as new layer. So it's basically doing the same thing. If it doesn't work for you, I just use I just use a different image to get it onto here. And then you don't need this layer because we just use it for that. So now that you have this here, um, 
what you want to do is you want to zoom out of your image a little bit and use your uh, rotate tool make sure you have it like that and you want to rotate it to about 40 about a let me see 45 angle yeah 45 degrees angle and rotate it like that and it's rotating so now you have it like that um, what you want to do is you want to have um, the entire image covered up though so you can use your um, you can use your scale tool and just you know make it big like that make sure the entire image gets covered up like that you're gonna have to keep on making it bigger until everything's covered up so like that there we go and then we're gonna click scale and this is gonna take a while since obviously it's really big now you're gonna see what we're gonna do do with this you're probably thinking what am I doing but I'm going to show you right now what we're going to do. God, this is taking forever. Well, it froze now, obviously, because there we go. That's good. Now, if you don't, now um, you can move it around. I'd use something like about this area right here. This is a good area to use. Yeah, you can move it around, however you, whichever type of shades you like. So I'm going to have it like this. Next, we're going to go back to our, we're going to go back to this layer right here. I mean, you want to have this layer selected so you have this layer selected and for this layer you right you right click your blurs click off of the selection now when you have this layer selected you go back to your main layer which is your shades here and then you go to select invert and then edit and then cut so basically what it does it um it keeps your uh, gradient shades your clouds basically in the selected area after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to select we're gonna go to none and you can zoom back in now this looks kinda weird so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, the layer mode up here and we're gonna turn it to hard light now it looks like really cool it looks kinda cool right here it gives you this aurora effect here now uh, the reason why you have these white blurs here is obviously because um, you have you have um, really bright colors. To fix this, you can just press Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, and you can move. You can move um, this around to you have some. To you have a good liking of shades. So let's try these type of shades right here. So again, right click this alpha selection. Go back to your first layer after you have it selected. Go to select invert edit cut let's see if this looks any better go to select none and your first layer layer mode hard light that was a little better you can lower the opacity a little bit probably but there we go um the reason why mine looks like this is because i didn't i didn't use the um i didn't make it look side i didn't make it look sideways but I made it go up and down and that's sideways. To fix this, what you can do is you can go to colors, uh, brightness and contrast. And you can tone down the brightness a little bit. You can tone down the brightness for, for this layer. So that it looks like it's, so it doesn't look, so you don't have, so you don't this white sticking out because you have too much white in it so you can just lower down the brightness a little bit to get rid of that white and get more dark in that so let's see this looks good if you want more contrast you can make more contrast but I'd keep it the way it was at zero zero so there we go that's basically how you make the aurora effect. Now to make these um to make these stars right here and things, you basically need brushes. So right here, I have plenty of brushes. Um, to get brushes, I have a tutorial on how to get brushes. So let's just use um some let's use some circles here. Let's make it white. Let's make a new layer. 
and let's raise this a little bit like that actually make it more and lower the opacity a little bit and I can do certain things like this and obviously this doesn't look this doesn't look like the best because I just I'm just doing this randomly but um you can even add some dots around here and things to make it look you know more aurora like now these aren't the best dots I did, that's why I didn't use dots I use the stars but basically my point is to get brushes um you need some good brushes to actually like make some other effects but if you want to just keep it like this then that's fine too there's your aurora effect to get brushes if you don't know how to get brushes I have a tutorial I have a tutorial on my channel on how to get brushes um, onto GIMP, so um, you can do that. Go and go check that tutorial out. I have it on my channel. But there you go. That's how you make an aurora effect. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like to subscribe, I have plenty of other tutorials on my channel. If you like to like this video, please do so. Um, favorite it would be good. Also, leaving some comments, some feedback would be nice too. But um, thank you for watching. This is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.